Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you something really simple, really easy, but so comforting and absolutely a must have for this time of year is my crock pot lentil and kale soup. Could not be easier. It takes just standard ingredients, but I wanted to share it with you because if you're a busy mom, a busy guy, a busy anyone, you can put this thing together in the morning, let it cook on low all day long, or you can turn it on in the early afternoon and let it cook for a little bit quicker. Either way, it's so soothing and comforting. It's good for you and you're gonna love it. The ingredients for the base are very simple. Onions, of course garlic, celery, carrots. These are brown lentils. Make sure that you wash them and you rinse them really well and then you pick through them. That's just an ugly one, but you wanna make sure there's no stones, there's nothing else in there, so you make sure you wash them really well. Vegetable stock, this is just a tomato-based one, but any veggie stock will do. You can even use chicken. Diced tomatoes, these particular can of diced tomatoes have basil and oregano in there, so I figured why not. And then I've got some Italian seasoning. You're also gonna need some olive oil, and a little bit you'll need some kale, and then at the end you're also gonna need some salt and pepper. Now for the Italian seasoning, you can buy some already made, or if you have purchased my cookbook, then you know my uh, particular recipe for Italian seasoning is in the book, so that's what I always have a big jar of it on hand so that I can use whenever I feel like it. Now one thing that's really important for you to remember is anytime you're cooking with dry beans, dried lentils, you never want to add the salt at this point because what happens is it makes the outer um, the outer layer of the lentil really hard and it never really softens no matter how long you cook it. So you always want to season it at the very end. And this cannot be easier. You just pretty much dump everything in. There's, it's not time for the kale just yet. And when it's time for it, I will bring you back. But now, all I'm gonna do is add everything in. The house is gonna smell fantastic. This is so good for you. You're gonna feel so good eating it. Now, if you don't wanna make this all veggie, you could add some cooked sausage in here, or you can even add some raw turkey or chicken sausage. I, if you're gonna add pork sausage, I would saute it first, just to render out a lot of the fat. Otherwise, you would use something a little bit leaner. Your stock, this is so yummy. My tomatoes, it's just canned tomatoes, makes life easy. Your Italian seasoning blend, and then just a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, not very much, maybe about a tablespoon. Now your options are to cook this on high for four hours, three to four, three and a half to four hours, or low, six to eight hours. I'm gonna put this on high for four hours total. In three and a half hours, I'm gonna add the kale, and I'll show you what the kale looks like before it goes in. But I'm just gonna pop this on the back burner. The back burner. I'm gonna put this in my little, um, the sleeve, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna get this going for four hours total. It's gonna be phenomenal, just you wait. Now I've got some kale here that's been washed and dried. It's important that you get rid of the stalk because it's really tough and it never really gets soft. So what I have here is like, I would say four cups really packed, but you know, obviously it's just kale. You can substitute spinach, in which case I would say literally add it in at the very end, even when it's all, the soup is completely done because as you know, uh, spinach wilts really quickly. This, however, needs a little bit of time. So when your soup has like another 25 minutes in your slow cooker, go ahead and add in the kale and let it cook for, you know, the last 25, 20, 25 minutes or until it's completely all wilted and it's gonna be so good and so delicious. So I'm gonna add this to my lentil soup and then we're gonna get going, um, we're that much closer to serving. This looks fantastic. Overall, it cooked for four hours, perfectly cooked. I did just season it with salt and pepper. Like I said, make sure you wait till the very last minute. And I am just ready and waiting to dig in. I mean, look at this, it is hearty. You can just tell that it's kind of good for you kind of food. I love anything with lentils and kale, so this is just, Perfection. You can serve this over rice. You could add potatoes in there to make it even heartier. It is completely up to you. But I like to think that this is kind of just perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that, that hits the spot. It's just around the time of year when it's starting to get really chilly outside. And if you just put a pot of this going, if you get a pot of this going in the morning or early afternoon, It'll just feel like the world is a better place because you just know something cozy and comforting is clicking away to perfection. This is an absolute must-have. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com, get the written recipe, make it. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hi guys, I'm Laura. Oh my olive oil. Wait up. Straight up, not telling me. 